we are also building right now, we're working with art department and the sculptors and creating futuristic cars where we've gotten new cars from General Motors that we're actually cutting apart and using the chassis and the frames, you know, the motors, everything to completely sculpt and refabricate the whole car for the future. So it's, it's quite a challenge when you just get brand new cars and you, you say go ahead and cut them to pieces. It's, uh, it's fun. I'm not making a whole lot of them, but we do have a sort of a minivan of the future, which is a Bill's minivan. And uh, this, we wanted some kind of just a sort of a people vehicle where you could put, you know, like six people in or something like that, but it just wasn't a car. So we, we made this the, this uh, this sort of van-like thing, and the doors kind of move up and slide out like that, and people kind of, it's much more comfortable, like a little living room inside there, so it's kind of oversized. And we're here at uh, Playa Vista Studios today to take you through the design and concept of the cars for the movie Click. We usually start with a uh, concept rendering. After we get the concept drawing, we build the model, and then we blow it up to the full size. We do that by cutting the model up into two-foot segments, and then we draw the contours or the outside shape, lay that down on graph paper, and then blow it up on bigger graph paper. Then we take our full-size blocks of foam, and every two feet, we draw the uh, profiles on them. We cut our foam up, and then we set it all out very carefully and start to sculpt it. Take it from a rough stage down to a more finished and very sexy curves. And then we take the full-size vehicle, strip it down, analyze it, and see the spatial relations we have to work with so that we can put our sculpture around it. And then it gets covered with fiberglass and other toxic chemicals. And the turnaround from concept to the finish, probably only about one month. Sort of felt the future was more organic and smooth and curvy um, as opposed to sharp and hard um, and so uh, the car has very much of a curvy flowy feel to it. We sort of had a couple different periods of the cars. We had uh, 2016 when he has this really cool Cadillac that nobody's seen yet that was you know, it's like a $4.7 million concept car Cadillac. This is the ultimate Cadillac, 16 cylinders. But when you get on the highway, it goes down to four cylinders and uh, it gets, actually gets really great gas mileage. General Motors has got quite a few vehicles on this show. It's interesting to see the future concepts. So during the 2016 period, the cars are sort of angular and that kind of goes along with the angles of his house and everything is kind of sharp in his world at that point. And then as it goes into the future, things get softer. And uh, so the cars, the design of the cars also get softer and the curves of his big uh, architectural firm. Everything has sort of a more organic feel to it as, as we kind of go along into the future.